Krista Tilton is a woman who reports that she was abducted in the early morning of July 1987 by a race of grey type extraterrestrial beings, who took her into a spaceship and then into the facilities of the Dulce military base in New Mexico. Krista claims to have been literally kidnapped by extraterrestrial beings who were traveling aboard a spaceship. They presented her to the interior of the ship, but she does not remember how because she testifies she woke up lying on a kind of metal stretcher and being transported near a mountain that she identified without hesitation for a moment as one of the entrances to the military base Dulce Underground, in New Mexico. At the entrance to the base where they took her, a man was waiting who was wearing a reddish coat and wore a long weapon. They took her inside the base in a sort of motorized transport and gave her a strange identity card. Then the witness was taken to the first underground levels until it reached an immense hangar that lay in the depths of these structures. Krista Tilton claims to have seen a small flying saucer, where both human and grey extraterrestrial beings worked. There were small rooms and many corridors leading to a building with rooms that resembled those of the classic ministerial offices. During the tour of the structures, she found herself passing in front of some about a metre and a half tall containers or incubators which they did not allow to see. But Krista emphasized that they emanated a strong and unpleasant aroma. Tilton ensures that those containers were used to incubate beings that she could see and that she defines as hybrids between humans and extraterrestrials. Mrs. Tilton states that she was artificially inseminated on several occasions by extraterrestrial beings and that the fetuses were subsequently taken away. She believes that the containers or incubators, are to continue the process of fertilization of fetuses previously removed from the wombs of their mothers, and, therefore, take care of these hybrid beings, human aliens, who are recruited to replace the human race, Homo sapiens sapiens, to a new new super breed. Later the witness was introduced in a laboratory where a doctor was waiting for him. Panic took over but later the ETS unconsciously created a kind of psychological block to make it immobile. Then a grey extraterrestrial with huge almond-shaped eyes entered the room and introduced a kind of large needle. A strong pain inside her made her think of the worst. But the doctor applied an ointment that suddenly made the pain disappear. The victim states that the medical examination lasted about three hours and underlines that she can remember this traumatic experience after suffering a hypnotic regression. You can remember two different species of aliens, some greys of just a meter and a half and others of greater stature, but with similar characteristics. He vaguely remembers having been on a mothership of these beings that had a length of tens of kilometers. The most surprising thing is that there is another case of another woman who claims that when she saw Krista Tilton's photo she was sure she had met her on the huge mothership they both describe in their statements. This is increasingly common among people who say they have been kidnapped and therefore recognize others contacted in these experiences. There are many mysteries hidden within Dulcie's underground military base, and many of these have been told by former soldiers and other staff who have previously served there.